Hey everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. In this video I will show you step by step how to change the Wix ADI to the Wix editor. Now as most of you guys will know, the Wix ADI makes it really simple to create your own website, however there's way less customizable features. All you can do is to enable certain features or to change the text or images. You're only able to change the designs, but you can't create your own design and you're also not able to move a certain feature within a design. And when you use the Wix editor, you will be able to move every single item on your page. So what you need to do is to go over to side in the top right, and then you just want to go over to one more design options, and click on go to editor. You'll then get this pop up, and you can then decide if you want to stay in the ADI, or if you would like to switch to the editor. Now please be aware that if you do switch to the editor, even though you're able to move and customize everything on your page a lot more than before, when you go back to the Wix ADI editor, everything will be undone. So if you decide to change to the Wix ADI editor, it's a permanent choice. However, if you do make that choice, you will be able to change a lot more on your website. You've also got the new features on the left, the desktop and the mobile phone are also on another, and just in general, there's a lot of new features that you can use to customize your website. And it's also important to know that, in contrary to the Wix ADI editor, you need to save your site every time you make a change. You can do that by clicking on save and then you want to click on save changes. Now as you guys can see, any changes saved in editor won't be transferred if you go back to Wix ADI. So you can go back unless you want all of your changes to be undone. Now with that being said, if this video was helpful, please let me know by leaving a like. And if there's anything I didn't explain clearly enough, please ask me in the comments down below so I can help you out.